George is keen, while in Dublin, to investigate the family connection to Irish Republican Kevin Barry, who was executed by the British. He's visiting his aunt Phyllis. Auntie Phyllis is like, she's like Batman, a <laughs> Wonder Woman. She always turns up, you know, um, when my mum's been sick or when I've been in trouble, you know, Phyllis is always there. I want to find out a bit more kind of family history because I'm interested to find out about my grandfather, Frank, and his father, who was called Richard. I don't really know his story. In you come. So, found out a little bit of information about Nanny Glynn on their marriage certificate, which yeah. I saw yesterday, which was yeah. really nice. All right. They put her father's name, even though he was he wasn't around. All right, He'd already yeah. died, but yeah. they put John Kinnahan as the father, and they put Richard Glynn, Frank's father, which is your other grandfather, right? All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I never met them, Frank's mother or father. So, what what do you know about them? Well, now that's my granny and granddad and my uncle Dixer, which is your great granny and granddad. When you think of it, like so that's Richard. That's Richard, and that's Richard. Well, he was called Dixer. Uh, that's Daddy's oldest brother. So which is Grandma? Uh, grandma there. This one? Yeah, yeah. So th these two were married? No. Hold on. That's Granny and Grandad. That looks like a woman. Oh, does it? <laughs> <laughs> so these two were married. I'm getting confused. Who was married to who? Granny and Grandad. Okay. There, my tum is on them. So yeah. that's Richard that's, there? Yeah. What do you know about him? Well, I know he was in the British Army and he fought in the First World War. Until 1922, Ireland remained under British rule from London. During this period, many working class Irishmen, like Richard Glynn, joined the British Army as it provided a decent job and a regular income. Now, his wife, Granny Glynn, was married before and she had two children. So she was married before, before him? Before, yeah. Which she is, was married, yeah. She was married scandalous. To his, she was married to his brother. <laughs> and then when he died, she married me granddad. Oh, so she was married to his brother? Yes. The brother got killed in the war. Yeah. So she married the other brother? She married the other brother. Practical. And um, she had her daughter from the first marriage. Her name was Annie, Annie Glynn. And Annie married... Um, a fella called Thomas Bryan, and he was a Republican. And he was in Mount Joy prison, and he was hung uh, in 1921 by the British Army. So Richard Glynn, yeah. my great-grandfather, was in the British Army. That's right, yeah. His son-in-law, Thomas Bryan, was hung with Kevin Barry yeah. in Mount Joy jail. So that's, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. George has learned that his maternal great-grandfather, Richard Glynn, married his brother's widow, and that her daughter, Annie, George's great-aunt, married an Irish Republican called Thomas Bryan, who was executed by the British. George is returning to the Tenement Museum at 14 Henrietta Street, where he's discovered his great-uncle, Thomas Bryan, lived.